garage and East Coast F100. Today I want to talk about cooling systems with uh, manual fans, belt driven, and electric fans. And I want to bring you through some of the troubles I had and why I made the decisions I've made and what some of my future plans are going to be. So when I first got the truck it had a pinhole radiator leak. And I do what most people are probably going to do, go on Amazon and buy the cheapest radiator and fan shroud assembly that I could get, and that's what I did. Um, the problem was it's, uh, it's trash, complete garbage. Um, from day one, the truck did nothing but overheat. It had overheated over 50 miles an hour, it overheated at idle, and uh, this is a big block Ford with the FE 390, so they don't have the best cooling system, so it's gonna you know, take a lot to get this thing cool. So, cheap fan assemblies. This is probably one of the poorest designs I've seen. The fans are underpowered, they're only 80 watts, when I was reading the description, I thought it was 2,000 CFM per fan. No, it's 2,000 CFM for both fans. And when the fans are running, it's about a quarter to a half inch spaced off the radiator. And all these louvers here, it would pull air through here and around the shroud before it pulled it through the radiator. So it would just overheat and overheat and overheat. I went with a, it measures to be like 18 and a half Flexalite fan and I went and bought a uh, OEM reproduction fan shroud. Uh, the fan shroud works with all the FE motors, the 460, um, it's advertised from 67 through I think 72. I could be wrong on that, I will uh, double check that. And, let you guys know but it's a I don't have a clutch and I still have a healthy gap over here over on the top of the shroud and on the bottom of the shroud but it moves so much more air it's not even funny one of the things I noticed uh, just to uh, charge water going back into the water pump the return 40 degrees colder with this setup than with the other electric fans. I know this is like the age old fight, you know, mechanical fan versus electric fan. And I, I just wanted to show my experience with uh, the cheap electric fans that I got off Amazon. Uh, I know that's not all electric fans. In fact, that's probably the next test I'm gonna do. There is a, uh, radiator company at a cold case. They make a two row radiator. They claim it outperforms most three and four rows. So I want to give that a try. And the electric fans I want to try are Del Rey. I'm probably saying that wrong, but I did my best. Uh, they sell a pretty beefy fan setup. Um, So one of the biggest differences, instead of having these louvers, they have flaps. So when you're going down the road, the flaps will open up. But when the fans kick on, when you're stopped, they suck closed. So you're not pulling air through them all the time. Uh, it's a much deeper uh, shroud assembly. And it moves twice the air as this. These are 80 watt fan motors. They have 260 watt fan motors. So they are substantially different. And my opinion, probably better, but um, I am gonna get them. I'm gonna try those fans on this radiator. I'm gonna try the fans on the cold case radiator. So I'm gonna try the mechanical fan with the cold, cold case radiator. And I'll bring all the tests just to see if there's a difference. But 
at the end of the day, don't do this. This sucks. And it'll just make you buy parts twice. So when I do the, the next set of tests, um, I want to let the weather stabilize a little bit. So I get some 70 degree days, some consistent 70 degree days. So I get more, a little more consistent results. Um, and when I get that, I'll, I'll bring it to you. Thank you. Have a good one.